you know, and then there there is the kind of men that don't give a fuck about what I'm saying. They don't give a fuck about what I'm talking about. They be like, mm hmm. And it's like, oh, okay. All right. You know, that's how you do. Those is the kinds of men that you need to be calling the police on. The ones who who just be like. Mm -mm. I don't know what she's talking about, but, you know, denying it. I don't know what she's talking about. She talking crazy. That bitch is crazy. And they always say, you sound crazy. That bitch is crazy. You sound crazy. Don't don't they just really like to just go like this? And it's like, I think you're crazy for saying that I'm crazy. You're crazy for saying I'm crazy. Yeah. Because I'm not crazy. But you're crazy for saying that I am. For even thinking that. Because you know what the fuck I'm saying is real ratchet and raw. That you gotta call me crazy. Because you don't know how to deal with your emotions. Because you you don't know how to, how to uh, process... You know, real information. Because you don't know how to... Because you don't know how to... Uh, gather your thoughts when the truth is hitting you at warp speed. You don't know how to gather your fucking thoughts. And when the truth is hitting you at warp speed, so you're you say very quickly, "Oh, you're crazy." That is beautiful. Go ahead. Just seeing somebody. Um, the man is walking the baby in a stroller. That almost made me cry. Anyways, um, so don't call me crazy just because you can't gather your thoughts as fast as you can speak out of your mouth. I'm, I'm this and I'm that. You know, I'm going to be crazy because you can't gather your thoughts. That's none of my fucking business. If you could gather, if you can't gather your thoughts, that's why you putting your hands on me, cause you don't know how to gather your fucking thoughts when the truth is being thrown at you. So you gotta feel like you gotta put your hands on me so that you could um, redirect my mind into a hateful place. So that so that I could feel. Damn, I shouldn't have said that. No, I don't want you to hit me no more, you motherfucking nigga. I don't want you to hit me no more. <laughs> yo, I be, I'm serious to be like, yo. <laughs> I don't want to call the cops on you. But you can hit me. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck all that. Like, you calling me crazy and I'm trying to speak to you so I can keep staying with your ass. But you don't want to, you don't want me to stay with you? Because you keep hitting me, you telling me that you don't like me. That's what the fuck that means to me. You don't like me. You don't like me. Because when you cheating on me, you don't be hitting these bitches. You be fucking these bitches, giving them pleasure and shit. And then when you bring your ass home, you got to fucking hit me so that I don't confront you about the shit. Because you know that you've been gone for so long that I'm supposed to confront you about the shit. So don't fucking play with me because I'll call the cops. Oh. I'm so serious. Redirect that energy somewhere else. You want to take our phones. 
put put your password in right now. Or if you don't already know it, sometimes they don't be wanting us to to know that they know it. So they say, put your password in. And we'd be like, no. And then we, oh, bitch, you cheat. And it's like, no, we're not doing anything, but you don't need to look at my phone. I don't look at your phone. You don't need to look at my phone. Give me my phone when I say give me my phone. Put my phone down when I say put my phone down. Nigga, you do what the fuck I say. Because you hitting me. So now it's time for you to do what the fuck I say. I'm a gangster in your ass. I get my... You hitting on me, but you can't hit the niggas that stole your fucking watch. You can't hit the niggas that stole, that's, that you came crying to me. You can't go beat them niggas up, but you could take it out on me. And I'm just hypothetically speaking. You can't go beat them niggas up like you do me because, because, uh, you feel like somebody stole your fucking money. The fuck is on your biscuit, nigga? Who the fuck you think you talking to? Who the fuck you think you hitting on? Who the fuck you think you hitting on? First of all, I am not a weak bitch. I am not a weak bitch. Why is you hitting on me? I'm trying to love your ass. I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure you got everything that you need at the end of the day. And then and then when I confront you about some real shit, you can't even talk to me as an adult. You can't even talk to me as a person. You got to talk to me as a child and 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 if you feel some kind of way, you got to you got to uh demonstrate on how the fuck you feel with your hands instead of saying, "You know what? Look, you know, maybe we don't need to be together right now because right now I'm just not ready to be in a relationship and I don't want to keep hurting you and I don't want to keep hitting you and I don't want to keep doing this and doing that. Maybe you need to speak up. Maybe y'all don't need to be together. And if it's getting that bad, walk away. You know, but some men is so possessive. They say, no, she not going nowhere. She not going nowhere. She not going nowhere. No, no, no. You know, you know, you know, so that's all I'm saying. You know, you don't, you don't need to, you don't need to be doing that. You Like, let's, let's honestly, like, there's so many men that's, that's like, beautiful but so monstrous so ugly and it's like oh my goodness damn you're not even cute to me no more you're not even sexy to me no more cause look at the way you're treating me my nigga I'm supposed to be a reflection of you Or is this what you gonna do to yourself? Like I, like I said before, you don't see me hitting myself. You don't see me in the bathroom hitting myself. You don't see me hitting myself. So why would you hit me? Why can't you treat me how I want to be treated? That's all I'm saying. Why can't you treat me how I be how I want to be treated? Can we try that? Can we maybe try something different now? Can we can we do that? Can we save my face and my arms and the inside of my thighs or the outside of my thighs or the top part of my hip or, 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 um, you know, can we save, can we save, can we, can we keep it clean? Can we keep it, you know, beautiful? Can we keep it beautiful? You know? It's going to take a while, though. It's going to take a while. They don't change uh, that fast. They don't. You know? They don't change that fast. 
So it's gonna be a while. It may, it may, it may. St it's still gonna go on, but we don't always have to result to a good Tyler Perry movie. Nor do we always have to, re even though those be real nice movies. But I'm just saying we don't always have to wait for that. You know, we don't always have to wait to hear it on the news either. We don't always have to wait for it to look at somebody and to say to ourselves, is that going to be me one day? We don't have to do that. We don't. You know, there's 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 men that you know that I would have really went all out for, but. Tired of being abused. I'm tired of being abused. I don't want to laugh or joke with somebody who's hitting me every day. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. If it happens... If it happens like... Not often, I'm not saying that. But if it's like... Whatever. There's ways. And then there is ways. But it should... I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna love you. Y'all taking this thick and thin shit way too fucking far. The thick is becoming thin, and the thin is becoming thick. And y'all know what that means. Single is on the table, and relationship is on the shelf. If you want to be technical, you know, this thin is you wearing me thin, nigga. You wearing me thin. That's what the fuck you're doing. This is not thick. This is thin. Because you getting me to a point where... Where I gotta do something about you, cause I'm too beautiful for you to be painting me in my inner thighs or my outer thighs or the top of my hips, you know, or the, or on my arm, you know. That's thin, and I mean thin. Like you, you st like you drew thick and thin. No, no, no. You could stick together through the thick and the thin. But let me tell you something. We lost that sticking together through the thick and the thin. We've lost that because the respect is lost. So that is lost with the respect. We don't have that anymore. We don't have that anymore. That, what, uh, delicacy? You stay, you, we ain't sticking together through thick and thin. Because you lost all that respect. It, when it gets thin, nigga, that's when I'm starting to leave your ass. And when it gets thick, uh, no, wait, what did I say? Yeah, thin. It's like, all right, I'm about to, I don't, I'm not taking this shit. You know, I, f I forgot what I just said, but I made sense. I, you know, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. That thick and thin shit is out the window. If I feel like this shit need to be over, then this shit need to be over because I'm tired of I'm tired of the bullshit. You know, you don't know how to treat me. The way that you're treating me is you don't you really you really don't have respect for me. You really don't care. You really don't care. 
And if you're going to be lashing out like that, you know, and you don't see nothing wrong with it, well then, see nothing wrong with me leaving your ass because I'm done. I'm done. You know, try to try to come for me, try to look for me, all of that. You could do that. You could do that. I wouldn't advise you to. But you could do that. Maybe that'll be a mistake on your part. It'll be a big, big mistake on your part if you come looking for me, nigga. So I'm just saying, you know. You just gotta switch it up, man. Like, come on. We really wanna call y'all men. You know, y'all get in these tantrums. It's okay to have a tantrum, but why are you using my skin, nigga? Why are you using my face? Why are you using my arms and my legs? Why why you can't have self-control and control yourself? Those are two different things. Self-control and to control yourself. What happened to that? Cause you could do you're able to do that when you're cheating with the bitches or when you out there with the bitches. You're not hitting them. But when you come back to me, you want to hit me because I'm not them. Cause cause uh you know. So go to them. So anyway. I'm just saying. And women, it's hard, yes. Because if you if if it's happened to you for so long, you know, you'll figure it out. Like, you really will honestly figure it out. But you have to do what's best for you, you know. And, um... It really is up to you. It's really up to you. It's really up to you. You don't have to. You don't have to go through that. You don't. It's really up to the woman. And there's there's not many advocates that will say it the way that I'm saying it. You know, they say it in other ways that people just can't understand. And not a lot of people want to go to therapy for it either. Because a lot of therapists is booked up. Uh, you talk about it with your friends, but your friends don't even know what to do. They just want to get in your business. The next thing you know, they hear you hear your business out there. So there's not really much advocates for this kind of thing because it's happening to everybody. So it's not really, no one's really talking about it or saying anything, anything because it's happening to everybody, you know. So that sucks, but, you know, like, let's change it. For real, let's change it. Like, you know, if you don't hit yourself, why you want somebody to hit you? You know, it's time now. Let's let's get it together. Men, let's get it together. We really want to, we really, really like, we like to hold it down for y'all. But y'all got to hold it down back. Y'all not giving us what we giving y'all back. Y'all, y'all not, y'all are not returning the love at all. And guilt gifts, come on now. It's time to, it's time to 
get up out of that. If your father did it to your mom, if you if 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 you've seen it happen so much, let it go. Let it go. It don't need to happen again. You saw what it looked like to your mom. Uh, add that up and subtract it and divide it and get it together. It does not have to be from... It does not have to start all over again. It can stop by self-control and controlling yourself. When you look at that female that's in front of your face... That you care for so much. Look at, remember your mother. Remember the one who birthed you. Really envision that face to that lady that you're with, that you're doing this to. And say, damn, I used to hate when that nigga used to hit my moms, yo. I used to hate I couldn't do nothing because I was so little. <laughs> so, man, let's get it together, yo. Let's respect the female so that respect the female <laughs> because you should, because that's the way it's supposed to be. Even though the media and all of that makes it seem like it's not. It really is. Respect the female because you should. It does not need to be a thing like give and take. It, it doesn't need to be like... All right, um, I'm going to respect her today because she did something nice for me. But I'm not going to respect her tomorrow because I know she can. It's like you need to understand, respect the female. Respect that woman that you have beside you. Respect that woman that you have beside you because, you know, she may be all you all you have. And if you're frustrated about something, write it down in a book. Buy a journal, write it down. Go to the gym and really take it out on the gym. Whatever. Redirect that tension off of her. Redirect that tension to somewhere more something to something more productive and at the same time still respecting that woman don't be mad because you feel obligated to have to respect her don't do shit like that respect her because you want to respect her if not then leave leave her leave her if you can't for for from the bottom of your fucking stupid ass heart and I'm and I'm just being whatever I want to be from the bottom of you because I'm because you really dumb because you rather leave than make it right because you don't want to be at fault and you don't want to feel feel the guilt that you should feel you need to feel those feelings you need to so that you can fucking stop so that you can see how bad that you done did something. To this woman, to this lady, to this girl, to your friend, to whatever. So you need to feel those feelings so that you can be sorry. Open up that fucking part of your brain so that you can be sorry. And stop being in denial and stop uh, using distance language. Like, oh, you're crazy. Oh, I'm crazy because you don't know what else to say. You don't know how to respond. I'm not calling you dumb. But what I'm saying is, you know, get out of, get the fuck out of that state of mind. Get out of that state of mind. Redirect that energy and that tension somewhere else where it's needed, where it should be. 
and not on not on the one that's taking care of you, not on the one that y'all holding each other down. It don't need to be like that. 